UValleyRadio.net, your concert station. Mr. Corey Morrow there off Whiskey and Pride. And that's one called Let's Take This Outside. Uh, should be a great time when Corey Morrow comes back to Uvalde County on uh, June 16th at House Pasture Cattle Company in beautiful Concan. If you're going to be outside, that's the place to be there. And uh, joining me on the phone right now to get us all pumped up, primed up, and ready for the big concert event, Mr. Corey Morrow. Pump it up, pump it up. <laughs> How you doing, sir? All right. You said pumped up, primed up. I felt like I needed to do my old cheerleading moves. I'm good. Great, I'm good. Great job. I'm definitely awake now, man. So uh, we're excited to have yeah. you back in town, man, or in, you know, in, in, in Uvalde County. We're, we're in Uvalde proper here, but uh, it's always good to get out to Concan, right? Always. You know, I've been going there since I was nine years old, which I guess I'll date myself. It's been <laughs> over 40 years. I've been coming there every summer. Uh, we started when I was nine, going with my family, staying at at uh, Neil's Lodges, and then uh, when I met folks who uh, ran the house faster and uh, started playing that stage and golf course, and just uh, that that became my new home. But I, you know, Concan itself and Uvalde area, that whole Frio River has been my home for for many many years. So it's like uh, we don't ever miss it, man. We never miss a trip to the river. It's every summer. It's been that way for most of my life, and so I love it. My, one of my favorite shows. I, people there are always in a good mood because. Well, I mean, they're on vacation, and it's summertime. It's hard not to be in a good mood, and we just have fun, man. We love, I can't, I've been playing music for almost 30 years, and I just, uh, I, it gets better every year. I love it. As somebody who's born and bred Uvaldian, it's so exciting and fun to hear uh, some of you big-time artists that come through and just have these great memories and this longing to come back to little old Uvalde County, you know what I mean? Because, you know, not a lot of people know, you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you know, yeah, I mean. You know, when we first started going there, they had T-shirts. I don't know if y'all still have them or not, but they say uh, "Concan, not Cancun." Right. We come, we come back from from uh, you know this is in the eighties. I come back from from spending two weeks down there and go back to Houston, Texas, and go to school. And I'd be wearing this shirt, and they're like, "Are you sure that shirt's correct?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they made it for a reason. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in a while. We need to get a reprint on those bad boys. I, Right. I mean, now, uh, speaking right. of the river, now I know you know just as well as anybody else that you know there's uh, there's good years and there's bad years on the river. It's always a good time, but you know sometimes right. it's better as far as water. It looks like we're gonna have a pretty good pretty good year. We got some some decent rain in uh, this spring. Good. So, are you literally gonna get on the water, or you just kind of dip your toes in and let the family do it all? Oh, I'll get in. I I have I, I don't get in every year, but I I'll, I'll get in. It's uh, it just depends. Like if, if the we're going down there with the kids this year, so I'm definitely going to get in. It's um, it's it's like I've been there when yeah, when you had to hike most of it. Yeah, and I've been in there when you had to get out because the waterfalls were so overflowing that it was dangerous. My mother went over one and just golly, just wrecked her. her she was in, she was laid up in uh, in bed for two days because she wrecked herself so bad. I have a daughter was, that uh, yeah that hurt herself pretty badly out there too. It can get pretty scary. Uh, but uh, yeah, you got to be careful, and especially like, like we're talking about how it's inconsistent. It's different year over year, so you kind of really don't know what you're getting into until you get in those tricky spots when you're floating. Yep. <laughs> but uh, well, here we're just praying that everybody stays safe and healthy on the river this entire yep. summer. So uh, good stuff. Again, we got Corey Mar on the phone, June 16th, back in Uvalde County at House Pasture yep. in Concan. Uh, we're excited to have you back, sir. Um, I guess uh, so. You say you're bringing the family. How's the family doing? Give us an update on on family life. Family life is good, man. We're we're remodeling. They're all they're all growing. And so when we first put out the bathroom, we had two and a half bath, and and we had two kids. And so we thought, okay, this is perfect. And then we had two more kids overnight. We had a set of twins, and then we had a fifth kid. And decided to stay in this house because we loved it. And as they're growing, it's really hard for them to move around. So we're we're added onto the house, and we're expanding and we're remodeling. So we're in the middle of that right now, and so we're honestly looking forward to coming to Concan for a week because we're taking a, about a month long vacation during the month of June to um, to get out of the house so that they can do all the remodel while we're not here. Family life is good, man. They're all growing. I've got the oldest is twelve, the youngest is six, and uh, this is my favorite time of the year, summertime, because they're they're with me twenty four seven, and I get to just you know so into them and love on them and get to, get to know them better and uh, try to try to instill some good morals and values into them and help them learn to love themselves and love others. 
That's fantastic. I, I was going to say, you, you're, you've you been very busy. I've looked at your tour itinerary and your Facebook pages, and uh, you've just been doing show after show after show all over the state and even beyond. And uh, I, I kind of wonder, like, how much, how the, what that balance is like. You know, n- now that we're in summertime, do you really get those kids out on the road with you as much as you can? We do. We do. And like I said, we're, we're taking a lot of vacation. Uh-huh. Most of our vacations are, uh, we don't go to, like, the you know, Brazil or, or Cancun. <laughs> we, go to Con- we go to Cancun. We go to San Antonio. We go to New Braunfels. We go uh, to Corpus Christi, to Dallas. And we, we like to do the, the Texas tour of vacation spots because there's just so much about this state that we love. And there's so much to do. I mean, there's Big Ben. There's just there's everything. And it doesn't cost a lot of money. And uh, with, with seven people to take care of, you know, we're trying to find ways to do more uh, for, for the dollar, get more out of your dollar spent. So, but yeah, we take them on the road with us, and uh, it's like a, it, it's you know, it's three months of, of just family fun. It's kind of like the the, uh, the the family band on the road. It's, and they all, you know what? The, the oldest ones are playing piano. The twins are learning piano, and uh, my daughter Daisy, she's just a she's a ham and, a, and center of attention. So. We are going to have ourselves in a departures family. Before. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to get in a wacky van, you know, to load those kids up in and, and take the show on the road, man. Have a little it, TV it, variety yeah. show. Now, I know that um, you we're still looking forward to some new music from you, but yeah. a couple years ago, you guys did the uh, the anniversary edition of songs uh, we wish we'd written with Pat Green. Right. I noticed on your Facebook page, you are poking around trying to get like artwork and stickers and T-shirts and swag, you know, old photos of that stuff. Are you guys still planning something special with that stuff, or going to reissue yeah. some merch or what? Yeah, we're still. So we're working on. So this this year, twenty twenty three marks the, the twenty year anniversary of a record called "The Man That I've Been." Uh huh. And. Um, and it was really a, an instrumental record for, for us and, and for our fan base. Kind of, it grew from that record. And so we're, we're, uh, we're going to be doing some shows in the fall where we revisit uh, a bunch of those songs and, and play them at the show. I kind of play the whole record in its entirety. But we actually uh, kind of already play a ton of the songs off that record anyway mm-hmm. in a regular show. So we'll be playing those at the, at the concert on the 16th. And uh, we also have some new music that we're going to be playing. Um, and we are working on old swag and we're just constantly poking around, like you said, like, uh, you know, the stuff that we've done uh, 20 years ago, which is, like I said, I've been doing this for 30 years and I can't believe it, and it just yeah. gets better. Every year it just seems to get more and more fun, and our fan base stays with us, and there's a lot of nostalgia between them and us and the memories that we've got and the way that we've grown together, and we started out as young punk kids in college trying to figure ourselves out and grown and made mistakes, and, and now a lot of us have family and have found our way and are uh, wanting to instill some goodness into our kids and and it's a journey we all get to to go on it together and we've had the the blessing of being able to play music and write songs for people that uh that touch them and and speak to them in a way that they want to they want to continue to have that music be a part of their lives And, and so they have the memory of the old music during that time and now we're writing music that sort of uh, accompanies and uh, speaks to the place that they are now and it's it's, mm-hmm. man, it's just such a it's an amazing blessing i'm just so grateful and so i get excited when we put new music out uh which we're doing right now and it's it's speaking to the, the places that we're in right now hey, it's got to be so fun you know to have that first of all to have that longevity just to know that you know that your your career and your your path is secure so you, you've got to feel grateful about that but then to see like you talked about you know generationally you know you're adding fans because because your fans are having kids and their families of their own uh right. and, and that's why it's great to reissue those records and you know kind of put those throwback merchandise items out um because man as a parent you know i i have a 16 year old daughter that i i go to a lot of shows with and uh I, I love it when I when we when a band will put out that you know kind of retro branded um, merch and I'm like hey you know I had a T-shirt yeah. just like this you know what I mean in '99 or or '88 or whatever <laughs> so right. that that is that is some fun fan service thank you very much for doing that that's fantastic stuff <laughs> yeah awesome well thank you for saying so yeah it is it's, it's a blast and it, it's uh, you know we I'm the same way like Robert Earl Keane and and Jack Ingram were kind of like the two mainstays and Jerry Jeff Walker were like that was what I was. I was following those guys around when I was in my twenties and uh-huh. just learning how to play guitar and thinking about being an artist. Uh, when I was in college, we'd, we'd go chase those guys down, and so finding old merch and, and memories and ticket stubs of, of of those days when we were driving all over the state, uh, following our favorite bands is it's fun. You know, it's great. You get around and, 
have conversations and laugh about those the stupid things that you did and then uh, take a deep breath and say, thank God that I'm still alive and uh, now I have, I have even more to live for. So it's great. Now, you've already gushed and you've already made us feel real good about how you love coming down to Uvalde County. It's obvious that you love the River Towns of rural shows. I noticed also you recently played uh, in New York City with Pat Green and Josh Abbott Band. Um, how, how, how do you like those big city shows as opposed to the more rural things? Are, are there great things about both types of, of shows? Do you look forward to getting to the big city? Oh, for sure. You know, the big cities uh, play in places where there's, there's transplants there. And so they're so grateful that you, sh- that you came all that way. To play and they're just they're out of their minds with joy uh, because you know you, you came from Texas and mm-hmm. traveled many many hours to to play a, a couple of hours or a 60 minute set for them and they're just ecstatic that you're there uh, but then there's also there's new fans and they, you know those those transplants brought their friends or co-workers people that they know that are New Yorkers or that are from the East Coast and they bring them out and they come, you know, you, you pour your heart out, play your heart out, and then you're done. And you go down and to say hello to people and they're like, man, I've never heard you before. And we had a total blast and they buy a, buy a record and buy a t-shirt. And so, it's, yeah, there's always something uh, something great about playing outside of the state of Texas uh, and, and seeing what, what people think about what we do here. Well, we love that you represent us uh, oh so well. Uh, again, we got Corey Morrow here. You know, I, you mentioned earlier uh, that June's going to be pretty much a, a good family month. I know that early July, 4th of July weekend, you're going to be doing a thing at uh, Camp Margaritaville. I don't know what that is over in Crystal Beach, but it sounds awesome. Uh, give me some insight as to what's going on with you guys at Camp Margaritaville. You're asking me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I I see it on there. We're the, the... The one that uh, is going to be the, the one that I'm really focusing on is the July 1st in, in Fredericksburg with Pat. Oh, nice. We're doing, yeah. doing a show with Pat and it's a Luke and Bach show. And, uh, but the, the Camp Margaritaville, that sounds like, that does sound very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about that one. You're very good. Know. I just kind of, yeah, when it plays at Margaritaville, I'm just wondering if you're bringing the kids to that or if that, like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. June is oh. over. <laughs> With July weekend, I'll probably bring the kids, and, and we'll see what happens. Very good. Hey, if we're going to the beach or going to the, going to uh, anywhere with water, lake, or river, or coast, then the kids are coming. It's family time. Very good. Well, now you touched on the fact that you got new music coming out. Let me pick your brain and let me know what's going on. How um, these songs that you're going to be releasing? Do you have an ETA on them? And uh, give us a little a little detail. Are you writing them with the band? Are you do you got co writers? Or are you flying out to Nashville doing you know sessions? Uh, give us as much as as you're willing to share about new music that's coming. A little bit of everything. I've I've been out to write with some folks in Nashville. They're, they're going to be coming out really soon. I think we'll probably have something out in the next 30 days cool. or so to, to give to you guys to hopefully start playing on the radio. Um, they are, most of these actually I've, I, I wrote myself over the last three years or so. Um, and they're, you know, products of some, some of the products are coming out of COVID and the shutdown. Um, but they're, uh, they're kind of like, there's one for my daughter. There's one about uh, coming home from being on the road. There's a, a love letter to my wife. Um, there's a uh, apology letter to my wife, mm-hmm. and then there's a, cel- a celebration of uh, just life and love and family and uh, seeing things uh, in, in the in a light that you kind of hope that you would at the end of the day. Instead of thinking that the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, you you realize that the grass is greener where you water it, and so wherever you pour and sow into, that's where you're going to see uh, you're going to see some fruit and you're going to see blossoming. And so that's uh, that's one that I'm, I'm excited about. So within a month, new stuff to the radio, and and I, I'm, I'm sure your your fans are really excited to hear that. What else news have we not covered, Mister Morrow? Uh, you got any any other cool stuff going on? I do, I do. We're in the midst of writing a book. Uh, it's just kind of the story of the first fifty years of my life, and that's going to be hopefully out, probably out at the end of 2024. Wow, we're, we're trying to make that happen. Uh, and then in the uh, summer, uh, a year from now, in the summer of 2024, we're going to take another trip to the Holy Land, and that's really exciting. So there's uh, that trip and a book. The book will kind of co- coincide with that, um, hopefully. And then uh, we are working on a uh, – we had an event called Go Wheels Up, which was an air show, car show, food and music festival that we did for a few years. And uh, we had to shut the doors on that, but we're trying to work on something new. I'm thinking about doing a, um, a retreat, a weekend retreat, where we go to a, 
um, a place like a um, like a Hyatt Resort kind of thing, Hill Country Hyatt Resort, and uh, have some uh, activities surrounding just being there. But we also take a road trip to a uh, race racing school, which there's tons of them in the state of Texas, and we'll go to maybe go do rally racing or uh, street racing or drifting or something. We'll find something that we really enjoy the most. I'm a, I'm a gearhead uh, yeah. at heart. Uh, so we're we're going to do something with cars and get all of our gearhead fans together and, and have uh, have some some racing school days. And then we'll have uh, a, you know a place to come home to and uh, be in the resort. We'll have golf court, a golf uh, tournament, and um, concerts and and all that kind of stuff. So we're working on something like that for next summer. Wow, it sounds like you're really mixing it up. But that's that's fantastic. Now you said you're a gearhead. Do you have like a? Are you a collector of cars? Do you like to work on them? Do you do you have a, a few models you want to brag about, or, or what's? Uh, how deep no, is your interest? I've, I've I've recently downsized. Like I was telling you before, we're remodeling the house. I I kind of sold off some things. <laughs> <laughs> I keep, keep my bills low for for the next year or two. But um, I I love just I don't, I love just working on my cars when yeah. they when they break when they need uh, maintenance. And then um, I was involved with a '69 uh, Chevy Camaro that had a. Uh, it was it was completely built up, brand new from the ground up, uh, rest of mod. So we had a, we had an LS3 uh, engine in it, and uh, current transmission, current suspension, current engine. And then um, I had a 1990 Suburban that uh, had an, an LS swap in it as well, mm-hmm. and that was kind of my that was kind of my favorite. Uh, truck and I, I sold that to a friend and I'll probably buy it back from him in a few years. Uh, but yeah, those are I like taking old classic cars from when I was a kid uh-huh. and uh, putting new modern technology in them, suspension and, and tra- drivetrain, to where they they act and uh, and perform the way you would expect a, a current model vehicle to to do. But they look uh, like you know like the old classics because there's just nothing like nothing quite like the lines of of the old cars. Now, is there a particular uh, make or model that you really kind of would like to dig into that you haven't had a chance to yet? Yeah, I've always talked about doing like a, a Triumph TR6 huh. and dropping like a straight six BMW engine in that thing and having something that's got 300 or more horsepower that they can uh, they can really get after it because I, I like driving and I, and I love um, I love little sports cars. Uh, other than that, I'd probably just go grab another Suburban and then knock out another LS swap on a bigger Suburban or a, a Ford Excursion. I think that'd be a good one to, to mess with. Wow, the stuff I'm learning here today. <laughs> That's five, good stuff. Five kids, so I kind of, I kind of lean towards the bigger vehicles whenever I can. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, you got, you got to get them all around. Well, again, we've been talking to Corey Morrow here. The big show is coming up on June 16th. That's going to be at House Pasture Cattle Company in Concan. Keep it on Uvalde Radio for your chance to win some free tickets uh, to the show. Corey, man, it's been really good catching up with you, man. We are so looking forward to new music from you and uh, looking forward to seeing the band. Uh, for, for real quick, I guess, give us give us a little rundown on how the band is, and we'll let you get back to your life. I know you're a busy guy, but uh, uh, is the band all grease separated to rock? They are. They are. They've had a little bit of a, a respite. Uh, recently, so they're they're fired up, ready to get after it again, and uh, ready to play. So we've we've got a great band and uh, some of the best musicians I think that are out there. So we're we're ready to rock and roll, man. And I'm sure we're gonna do all, all the hits and maybe a few new ones too. Everything you could possibly want to hear and some new ones, yeah. And we'll be amped up. I'll be I'll have as much Red Bull in me as, as humanly possible. And we'll rock the night away, man. Well, again, that's going to be on June 16th, House Pasture in Concan. Uvalde County is excited to have Corey Morrow back. And, and again, um, we are so honored that not only, you know, the fact that you come out here and you uh, continue to make memories here in Uvalde County, but that you bring in the family along and and that you're raising kids that are going to also have memories, you know, in, in our area. It, it is it, it really is an honor. So uh, thank you so much. We're so excited about the show. Again, guys, get your tickets at HousePasture.com. Find Corey Morrow. I guess the website's just CoreyMorrow.com, right? CoreyMorrow.com, yeah, and all of our social links are, are there somewhere on that page. I imagine at the, at the bottom, but yeah, CoreyMorrow.com. All right, well, let's get back into some music. And uh, Mr. Morrow, thank you so much for your time. We're going to do one called Lonesome. This is Corey Morrow on your concert station. We are Uvalde Radio. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Thank you, my brother. I'll see you on the 16th.